All right, welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got second quarter results from App Lovin. What a company this is. It's, the company is as awesome as its name is stupid in my book. This is the business story behind one stock and a move. A Futurum Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson, and App Lovin Earnings. Uh, Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and they got both here. Uh, it was an earnings per share beat. It was a revenue miss. But uh, really strong results from this business. I want to dig into how the business works, the actual numbers here. So second quarter results from this company, uh, $1.08 billion in revenues, up 44% on a year over year basis. Profits of 310 million, up 286%. So the revenue growth really ticking up here, right? That's the first thing you see, that jump of 44% in the revenues. But the EBIT margins, the operating margins for this business have gone from negative two years ago when they made a bunch of changes and kind of introduced a new technology to, as an overlay of all the things that they do. They've now got 36% operating margins or EBIT margins. Super strong here. So what do they do? So they sell a software platform that allows uh, really mobile uh, developers, app developers, particularly game developers, uh, to do things uh, to manage their software, but also um, to do, allow in-app purchases and in-app advertising. And so the majority of their business, 66% of this quarter, was indeed that software platform. And that software platform has just seen stellar growth. You've got it growing, nearly doubling year over year, and now uh, over $700 million in revenues. And what it has done is it's, it's masked some of the weaker growth in their, um, in, in their other businesses. So the, the in-app purchases, the in-app advertising, those have kind of stayed flat over time. But if you look at it as a percentage of revenues, I made this fancy chart that shows you 100% of the revenues, regardless of the fact that they're going up. And what you can see is that the success of the software business is squeezing out the importance of in-app purchases and in-app advertising. Those are still big businesses, but they've kind of remained similar in size while the software platform is growing. So how did the stock react when the numbers came out? Well, initially the computers sell it off with a, with a miss on the, uh, on the revenue number. Uh, and then when the company starts talking, people start reading through the press release, you see the stock start to rally. So it's up about 3% uh, during the conference call, which is ended just moments ago. Uh, even though for the last year, the stock's up 118%, despite the sell-off in the last few weeks. Now on the CEO, not on the CEO, on the conference call, the CEO, uh, Adam Farugi talked about um, how the the publishers that they work with, the game publishers in particular, and the other app publishers, some of them used to think they were competing with App Love, and even when they're using App Love and software. But lately, using that App Love and software has become the standard for the industry. So we've always worked with some of the very large publishers. Like we, we usually have had pretty deep penetration in mobile gaming, but there are some very well-known large publishers that did look at us as a competitor. At this point, our platform is so successful in mobile gaming, it's very, very hard for any publisher to look the other way. And so we've gotten a lot more adoption across even those publishers. Um, there isn't really a customer that I know of in mobile gaming that does not find success and scalable success on our platform at this point today. So a scalable software in this very big business now doing over a billion dollars a year, that's the quarter for App Love. But I'm gonna give you a summary and really one number to remember that'll take away uh, that tells you a whole lot about this business with the Drill Down Earnings Bite right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So App Love and just reporting second quarter earnings, here's what you need to know what you want to remember about this quarter. $1.08 billion in revenues, but the big number to remember is that those revenues are up 44% on a year-over-year -year basis, and very profitable on top of this. This business is big, it's growing fast, and it's throwing off a lot of profits and free cash flow. All right, that's the drill down bites. That's the drill down itself. A oh, one last thing, 75% software growth for this business, just fantastic. All right, thanks for checking the drill down earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. And you can check us out on X at Corey TV. Shorter drill uh, earnings takes on uh, Instagram and TikTok for, for all kinds of tech companies or in-depth earnings coverage and lots more about technology in the 6.5 Media page on YouTube.